Good morning, all of you. Good morning, sir. Good morning, sir. Uh, Good morning, sir. Sorry for uh, some Good morning, technical sir. error. Good morning, sir. Good morning. Good morning, sir. Uh, okay, uh, this is myself, Dr. G. Prabhakar, as a counselor. Uh, welcome to Dr. B. R. Ambedkar Open University. Uh, today, uh, today is first class, I think. Today we will discuss, uh, according to our syllabus, the paper C1. I am dealing C1 paper. You know, Stephen, what are the topics? Yes. My voice is uh, clear? Yes, sir. Okay. Yes, what are sir. the first paper? What are the first paper? First paper. First paper Diversity means? Diversity of C1. 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 C1 means course on paper one. Yes. Okay. 
before uh, going to according to our syllabus uh, today we will discuss bacteria before going to bacteria uh, what is the microorganisms All of you, uh, mute your phone. Okay. Before going to bacteria, what is the microorganisms? Microorganisms. Microorganisms. Yes. Which we cannot see with What? our eyes. Yes, right. Exactly. How many types of microorganisms? What are the examples of microorganisms? Bacteria, viruses, virus. Bacteria, virus. Okay. So we can't see directly. the micro organism only we observe the micro organisms under the microscope only so the micro organisms are bacteria virus and protozoan some of the protozoans also so what is a microbiology what is the what is the microbiology study of microorganisms Study of micro organisms. Right. Okay. So, what is the bacteria? Study of bacteria. Study of bacteria. What is the virology? Study of virus. Study of viruses. Study of virus. What is the botany? What is the botany? Study of plants. Study of plants. What is the biology? Study of living organisms. Study of living organisms. Animals. Plants and animals. What is the phytology? Your voice is not clear, sir. So some disturbance uh, said my my side is uh, I'm also some disturbances from the uh, this is live streaming. So some disturbances are there when record the Zoom meeting. Some disturbances are there. So they the disturbances they can uh, they can handle the other uh, the persons of who, who is organizing these. Uh, the zoom sessions so i uh, message to kumar sir also so they will take care uh, this okay continue what is the phycology phycology yes anyone study of fungi study of fungi study of algae study of algae fungi study of fungi you are a botanist yes, just listen listen you are a botanist students all of you some some were working under school teachers so, so many whatever may be so you are your botanist students first of all basic you learn basics okay so the study of algae it is called as phycology study of fungi called as mycology what is the pteridophytes what is the pteridophytes Yes. Pteridophytes are the vascular plants. What are the characters of pteridophytes? Non-flowering yes? plants, sir. No, no, that is the uh, bryophytes. That is the amphibian. First two amphibian plants is the bryophytes. Uh, what is the pteridophytes? What is the characters of pteridophytes? Disperses the spores, sir. Yes. This is the uh, pteridophytes. They. Pteridophytes. These are first vascular plants, and then produce fruits. The pteridophytes body, what we call 
sporophyte okay produced the spores okay what is the bryophytes okay bryophytes are the amphibians present both in land and water what is the structure you you are you are a botanist student just you remind what is the bryophytes what is the pteridophytes what is the gymnosperms gymnosperms are the naked seed plants gymnosperms are the naked seeds what is the angiosperms seeds within the fruit angiosperms are the flowering plants so the angiosperms are the most of the plants in the world it is the dominating in the angiosperms okay it is a flowering plants so what is the difference between the uh, monocots and dicots single cot present and what double cot cotyledons are the monocot dicotyledons two cotyledons are there in dicot okay, okay. what is the difference between the c3 and c4 plants what's it the difference between the c3 and c4 c3 and c4 plants C3 and C4 plants. Yes. Okay. What is C3 is nothing but where the photo respiration is C3 not suppressed. Photo respiration is not suppressed, sir. Whereas in the C4 plants, there is a suppression of the respiration. So that is what is the main features? The main features of the Uh, the some some special anatomical features the C three and C four. What is that? What is the special anatomy and C three and C four? So you go, uh, you are uh, go to a roadside. So you see a plant. So so uh, this is the angiosperm plant. This is the gymnosperms, and this is the C three, and this is the C four. How to identify? Most of the three uh, C three plants. Yeah? The C three plants, uh, there there is opening of flowers. No 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 no. Here. No no. Yes. Ah, no water. Water. C three plants cool season, sir. They are after the cool season. So okay, listen. Generally, the C three plants, most of the C three plants in dicotyledons. So, what is the C four plant? C four plants. It is. Uh, uh, The anatomy, the C4 plant anatomy, crunch anatomy. You know crunch anatomy? Crunch anatomy. The C4 plant anatomy shows crunch anatomy. Crunch means it is a ring-like arrangements. When you take when you take any section in C4 plants, the mesophyll contain two types of chloroplasts, granule and agranule, and and are The vast bundle surrounded by the bundle sheath cells. This is the C4 plant. So that is the crunch anatomy. What is the camp plants? Why it is called in C3 plants? Why it is called in C4? The first stable, the first formed and first stable three carbon compound in the C3 plants. That is three PGA. Three phosphoglyceric acid. So it is called as C three plants. So why it is called as C four plants? The first stable compound is oxaloacetic acid. It is a four carbon compound. So it is called C four plant. What is the camp plants characters? What is the name? Uh, You know camp plants. Yes, camp plants. So, all of you are uh, able to my voice. Yes, all of you, please mute your phones. Just I question the I question you. So please listen class. Okay, some disturbances are there. John C. John C. Who is John C? And sir, not audible, audible, sir. Voice is not audible. Sapna and uh, and also Raghunath. Sapna, please mute yourself. Sapna. Sapna. 
कपड़ा मेट गए थे स्वप्ना जय स्वप्ना ओके व्हाट इज द कैंप प्लांट्स कैस्टलेशन एस एस कैंप प्लांट्स yes exactly crassulation acid metabolism okay that is called as camp plants what is the role of camp plants what is the role of camp plants these camp plants the stomata open only night time the stomata are closed in day time also these camp plants catch most of the succulent plants succulent plant characters succulent means the thick and fleshy leaf like aloe vera like bryophyllum you know uh, aloe vera how it is it is a, a thick so jelly like substances is present in inside of the uh, yes, bark yes. and also these camp plants characters special characters in the night time only malic acid is form, uh, formation in the day time the malic acid is disappear so these are the some of the crassulation members some of the agavesi members these are the camp plants so you must learn what are the branches of botany suppose microbiology biotechnology pteridophytes bryophytes um, phycology mycology what is the biotechnology Yes. Yes. Tell me. Micro What is the biotechnology? Is the study of microorganisms. Sir. Biotechnology. 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 Which approves the genetic engineering methods, sir, and also it will be useful for the. solving problems uh, to, to okay. do something new in the in the science side it is very useful for the development okay. of okay it is called as knowledge okay fine so uh, to approve the new technology uh, some uh, okay. okay 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 fine so uh, before going to this so you are a botanist first you learn about the uh, the taxonomy is, is the base of the all branches of the botany so you learn about as a botanist you learn about at least 3 to 5 plant Signament family. At two, three to five. At least three plant scientific name. So to go to market, to go to vegetable market. What are the vegetables? So suppose you take the, uh, you buy the carrots. What the, what is the scientific name? You buy the leafy vegetable. What is the scientific name? Because so. the vegetables everyone know the vegetables but you are a botanist you are a botanist yes at least you learn about the scientific name and family name so uh, these are the, there is no uh, syllabus of uh, your botany but you are a botanist student you are a botanist just you identify the some of the basic knowledge so you go to a road side uh, like kemandram gorla kapari something uh, some of the farmers farmers is well known about of the all the plants in the local names suppose you go to the students also easily identify the plants in local names so road side daily uses suppose vepa everyone is no vepa it is a name everyone know but you are a botanist 
what is the scientific name of name azadictica indica so so you go to so every plant is medicinal value every plant is the medicinal value so every plant every plant is the consists some of the medicinal value so you learn about what is the uh, scientific name and family name and also what are the use of these plants so many local people so, so many practitioners most of the world in the 19 uh, sorry 79 percentage seventh is the drugs is obtained by the plants only in the world wide of the drugs it is originate from the plants only so as finish you plant in a tree the rainy season so everyone every botany students in your premises your college your school your house anywhere you plant plantation a plant one at least one tree one plant one tree it is the botany students we are the responsible of the we are the responsible the first part responsible of the botany students you must and function every year in every at least one plant plantation at least one plant you know what are the uses of plants you know uh, all of you are uh, aware of uh, plants so protect plants plants protect you okay coming to bacteria what is the bacteria yes bacteria what is the bacteria anyone tell me yes what is the bacteria yes my voice is audible guys uh, sorry friends what is the bacteria micro organism bacteria sorry micro organism prokaryotic micro organism okay it is a microscopic and unicellular and prokaryotic organisms what is the difference between the prokaryotic and eukaryotic yes tell me what is the mean prokaryotes prokaryotes they do not have yeah, prokaryotes and eukaryotes without eukaryotes they have nuclear membrane okay the eukaryotes means it is consists a true nucleus right the prokaryotic nucleus is absent and you absent. know what is the uh, what is the difference between the eukaryotic and eukaryotic? so what is the bacteria bacteria are very small microscopic unicellular and prokaryotic organisms Marginal. right the term bacteria is taken from the greek word it is the word the bacteria first first discovered by any idea robert hook sir antony van leven hook sir leishman anton van leven hook yes leven hook the bacteria was first observed by antony van leeuwenhoek in 1675 is a dutch scientist what we observed is is research he examined the so many objectives he examined he, uh, he researched so some of the adjectives like he taken salvia cork and plant leaves urine cow dung scraping uh, scraping from his own teeth so you know scraping from teeth in the the teeth, teeth surface some yellow color that is he is also the scraping the yellow color part so these objects are taken observed generally the term 
bacteria first used by the scientist Ehrenberg in 1838. Ehrenberg, the first called them bacteria. So, the bacteria, when he is scrapping his own teeth, the scrapping part, the yellow color part, is contain millions of the living creatures. So we observe what is this? What is, uh, so first used is uh, under the microscope. Generally, you remember always the bacteria is virus. We can't see our eyes only under the microscope. So the term first used bacteria. The Antony Van Lick, Antony Van Leeuwen Hick, what we called, what we named them, animal cules. Animal cules. Animal cules. After animal. that, the scientist animal Ehrenberg, 18, 1820, 1829, 29. the Ehrenberg scientist called them bacteria. Bacteria. And so, so many scientists worked on these bacteria. So many scientists. So, some of the important bacteriologists, Louis Patcher is 1864 and Robert Koch, the 1867. The, these 70s. two scientists explain the importance of bacteria, importance of uh, the life cycles of bacteria, the importance of the structure of ultra structure of bacteria clearly explained these scientists. So already I told you the study of bacteria, what we call bacteria. bacteria. Okay. And next one is these are the uh, prokaryotics and eukaryotics. The right side is the uh, the eukaryotics in the left side is the prokaryotics. You know what is the difference uh, between prokaryotics and eukaryotics? Next, distribution of bacteria. Distribution of bacteria. Yes, anyone? A distribution. Where it, uh, where it is found in the bacteria. Yes. The bacteria is found almost everywhere. Everywhere. Like water. The water consists of bacteria. Soil consists of bacteria. Our skin also consists of bacteria. Animals also consist of bacteria. Most of the objects, most of the objects means the non-living things also, non-living surface, uh, non-living surface also con uh, consists of bacteria. Suppose table. The table also consists of bacteria, but the table is a non-living. So, the bed sheet, anywhere, the daily uses of our plates, glass, bottle, and also inside of the body. AIDS, atmosphere also consists of the bacteria. And food also, it is consists of the ba bacteria. So, the bacteria are found everywhere. So, it is called as omnipresent. Omnipresent. The bacteria is found in everywhere. So it is the bacteria, it is omnipresent. And before going to the bacteria is divided into according to size, shape. The bacteria I divided into so many types. We will discuss. Okay, the bacteria divided. How many types of bacteria? You know, any idea? Rod and round shaped bacteria. Gram positive, gram negative. Gram positive, gram negative. Okay, it is okay, Oco. fine. Oco shaped bacteria, bacillus shaped bacteria. Yes. Archaea bacteria, U bacteria, and cyanobacteria. 
അത് സൈനോ ബാക്ടീരിയ സൈനോ അക്കോർഡിംഗ് ടു സേഫ് ആൻഡ് സയൻസ് ബാക്ടീരിയ and our intestine in the e. coli especially e. coli most common e. coli is the most common occurs in the our intestine escherichia okay. coli so coming to e. coli escherichia coli okay according to the bacteria size shape before going to according to shape the bacteria so many types shape uh, size bacteria generally the bacteria small microorganisms right the bacteria size <laughs> the range average average of the, the majority of the bacteria are range the 0.52 1.0 micrometers in micrometers breadth to 5.0 micrometer in length so in the site you remember always bacteria average the bacteria range 0.5 to 1.0 micrometer in breadth and bacterium size and the smallest bacterium is mycoplasma are there the smallest bacterium mycoplasma gelium it is 0.2 diameter and 0.3 to 0.7 micrometer what is the largest bacterium സെന്റിമീറ്റർ <laughs> <laughs> several centimeters in length so this is the size of bacteria right the size of bacteria average is the smallest bacterium and the biggest bacterium so next shape of bacteria the bacteria bacteria is different according to the bacteria are differentiated into the following types the first one is these are the very important listen carefully this is a basic basic of bacteria please some children are uh, talking please please um, self abigna abigna you are mute yourself okay sir very important very very important very very important uh, listen carefully these are the basics of the bacteria so first one is the shape coccus or cocci are spherical bacteria the first first shape is cocus cocci are spherical bacteria so the spherical shaped bacteria are called cocci based on the number of arrangement of cells the cocci bacteria are divided into six types 
okay you know uh, spherical shapes everybody you know spherical shapes A spherical shaped bacteria are called cocci based on based on the number and arrangement of cells based on the listen carefully based on the number and arrangement of the cells the cocci are divided into six types the first one is monococcus the monococcus means the cells occurs singly mono mono means single, single. the cells occurs the next slide i show what are the uh, cocci the diagrams next slide shows uh, the diagrams also the cocci uh, monococcus diplococcus tetracoccus spectrococcus and staphylococcus and sarsina the shapes of bacteria i will show next slide the mono means single, single. the cells occur singly uh, singly so it is called as monococcus the examples of monococcus micrococcus luteus micrococcus luteus next diplococcus yes diplococcus means the cocci mm. cells the cocci cells occurs in pairs cocci cells mm. occurs in the pairs mm. so it is called as diplo means two right diplo means two, two. the diplococcus means the cocci cells occurs in the pairs it is called as a uh, diplococcus bacteria example is diplococcus pneumoniae mm -hmm. diplococcus pneumoniae mm -hmm. next one is tetracoccus next one is tetra okay. tetra means tetra tetra four. means yes four right okay. group of four cells the group of four cells it is called as tetracoccus examples of uh, tetracoccus pedicoccus pedicoccus cervicae and neisseria it is also example of tetracoccus bacteria mm -hmm. and streptococcus 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 means you know these type of bacteria this type of bacteria cocci cells occurs in the long chains streptococcus means long chains long chains example is streptococcus lactis example is streptococcus lactis next staphylococcus next staphylococcus the staphylococcus nature is irregular group of many spherical bacteria irregular group irregular group of many spherical bacteria it is called as staphylococcus bacteria example is staphylococcus albus staphylococcus albus next the sixth one is sarsina sarsina the sarsina nature this type of bacteria cuboidal arrangement of eight cells cuboidal arrangements of eight cells so cuboidal shape means the faces only uh, we will see only four four in the uh, outer side another four in the outer side you see only in the four cells but remaining four cells in the inner side these are the sarsina type of bacteria the example is sarsine lucta sarsine lucta okay these are the shape of bacteria it is spherical or cocci spherical shaped bacteria are called cocci bacteria based on number and arrangement of cells cocci are divided into six types monococcus diplococcus tetracoccus streptococcus staphylococcus and sarsina right clear clear this is the yes, first sir. type first major type is cocci first major type is cocci next one is second cocci next next second type is bacillus bacteria next one is ah uh, 
before going to bacillus these are the diagrams of uh, shapes of foci bacteria first one is uh, monococcus what is the uh, what is the nature of monococcus Sorry. cells occurs appearing in a single single there is no there is no attachment you observe mm -hmm. the diagrams so next one is diplococcus diplococcus the cells appears in pairs pairs so you observe the diagram it is giant it is uh, look like pairs so next one is tetracoccus tetracoccus appears in four yes you observe the uh, diagram tetracoccus in the fourth cells and next one is streptococcus 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 it is a long, long chain and next one is staphylococcus, staphylococcus. it is irregular irregular okay next final uh, final one is the sarcina that's true. it is cuboidal arrangement of eight cells you see diagram in the four cell in outer part in the inner part another four cells are there this arrangement called as cuboidal cuboidals right cells it is cuboidal sarcina type of bacteria right clear do you understand yes, all sir. of you yes sir so actually uh, this is the first class i slow uh, because the so next the class is very fastly because actually the ambedkar open university allotted only 10 classes i think so 10 classes within the 10 classes complete entire syllabus so this is first class i am slow the uh, class part next class onwards it is fastly you are also quick response and note the right i, I will send uh, i will send it notes also okay okay sir okay sir next next second type the bacteria generally three types according to shape first one is cocus okay. second one is bacillus, bacillus. next one is a uh, uh, third shape uh, third one is spiral or helical spiral. so hmm. uh, we will discuss first bacillus the bacillus shape of bacteria it is a rod shaped okay. bacteria rod shaped bacteria this rod shaped it is also called as cylindrical it is also called as cylindrical you know rod shape bacillus bacteria are called sorry rod shaped bacteria it is called as bacillus it is cylindrical and may be motile or non motile what is the meaning of motile and non motile motile means Mo moving it, yes motile means it is movable so non motile means there is no movable no these movable. these bacillus type of bacteria some of the bacillus species is motile nature some of the bacillus species it is non motile so the cells are arranged side by side like match you know matchstick everyone yes Every sir matchstick so same like this the bacillus cells bacillus bacteria cells are arranged in side by side like matchbox yeah. sticks so when arrange the in the matchbox how how it is arranged in the matchbox in the uh, matchstick same like this these bacillus bacteria cells arranged by side by side like matchsticks types of bacteria called bacilli these are the three types and you know? they are arranged by uh, side like matchsticks match so they are known as bacilli bacilli yes. yes okay these are the three types of bacteria mono or micro bacillus mono or micro bacillus mono means single single, single rod shaped bacterium called as no. mono bacillus bacteria single rod shaped generally rod shaped bacteria called as bacillus single rod shaped bacterium it is called as mono bacillus example is pseudomonas and clostridium clostridium these are the examples of mono bacillus next diplobacillus next diplobacillus 
Diplobacillus. The rod shaped bacteria are arranged in arranged in Pair. pairs. Hmm. Diplobacillus. The rod shaped bacteria arranged in pairs. Pair. So it is called as Diplobacillus. Hmm. The example is Cornebacterium diphtheriae. Cornobacterium diphtheria. These are the examples of Diplobacillus bacteria. Next one is Streptobacillus. Streptobacillus. The Streptobacillus means a chain of rod shaped bacteria. A chain of rod shaped bacteria called Streptobacillus. Examples of Streptobacillus. Bacillus tuberculosis TB. You know TB? Tuberculosis. Tuberculosis. Bacillus tuberculosis is a TB bacterium and lactobacillus. What is the meaning? Uh, what is the use of lactobacillus? It cut milk to curd, sir. Milk to changes curd. milk to curd. Yes, yes, exactly. Very good. The lactobacillus, it is the milk to curd. It is participation, the lactobacillus. These are the streptobacillus type bacteria. These are the rod shaped bacteria. The rod shaped bacteria called as bacillus. bacillus. These, these bacteria cells arranged in the mastix, like matchbox. When you see the matchbox, how mastix arranged, same like these uh, bacillus cells arranged in the mastix. <coughs> These are the three types of uh, bacteria. First one is mono or micro bacillus. Okay. Next, you see the diagrams. These are the diagrams of uh, uh, bacillus bacteria. First one is the bacillus. And next one is the uh, left side, diplobacillus and streptobacillus. Okay. These are the three types of bacillus bacteria diagrams. Next. Next. Third one is spherical. Spherical or sorry, helical or spiral shape of bacteria. These are the two types. Vibrio. Vibrio. Kama shaped bacteria are called vibrios. The, you see the first one diagram. First diagram. Kama, you know, kama, kamas, kama, yes, yes. so kama shaped bacteria are called as vibrios. <laughs> Example is vibrio colore, vibrio colore, and <laughs> next one is spirilla, spirilla, spiral or corkscrew shaped bacteria called spirilla you know cork uh, cork screw shape cork yes, screw sir. so spiral or cork screw shaped bacteria are called spirilla spirilla or spirulum okay okay these are the another types of bacteria and before going to that some bacteria in form of the thread or filament it is the uh, link chains, uh, sorry, long chains. It is Bagiota. You know, uh, pleomorphism and uh, pleomorphism, pleomorphic bacteria. What is the pleomorphism? Any idea? Pleomorphism. Many forms, sir. Yes, exactly. The pleomorphism bacteria. It is depends upon the environment conditions. These type of bacteria change their structure. They change their shape. Change their shape. So based on the based on the environment conditions. Based on the environment conditions, the shape of bacteria, the structure of bacteria changes so many types. So it is called as pleomorphism. pleomorphism. Example is acetobacter. So this nature of bacteria called as pleomorphism bacteria. 
What is the pleomorphic bacteria example? Pleomorphic bacteria Acid example. Acetobacter. 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 It changes to environment. Okay. Safe and safe according to the environment. Yeah. Okay. Uh, one second, I repeat. This is important. How many types of bacteria? Please, uh, please. Three types. Say the answers. Three. How many types of bacteria? Three types of bacteria. What are the three? Types? Coke, Bacillus, Verbius, Bacillus, Vibrius, Vibrius. The bath. How many of Bacillus? How many types of Coke bacteria? Sir, your voice is not clear. Coke bacteria, three types, sir. No, no, no. Six types of Coke bacteria. Yes, sir. Sorry. Mono. Mono. Diplo. Mono. Diplo. Bacillus. How many types of bacillus bacteria? Mono. No Mono and Diplococcus and Staphylobacillus. Yes. Helical and spiral. These are the two types. Vibrio and spiral. Okay. These are the bacteria. According to shape, the bacteria is the three types. The cocci, bacillus and helical. Okay. Before going to that, uh, the bacteria, these are the according to these are two types gram positive and gram negative. Yeah. Okay, gram positive yeah. and gram negative. In your practical, in your practical, one major experiment is there in the how to find out the Gram negative gram bacteria in your by using gram iodine solution. Your, your practical in your practical paper one. The, this is the major experiment. So we explained clearly. Uh, you do that the practical in the practical class. You take the bacteria friend. How to identify the bacteria gram positive or gram negative the uh, it's using the it's using the some dice so we will deeply explain in the practical class so just uh, this is the gram stain regarding uh, according to gram strain the bacteria types bacteria and gram gram positive bacteria the bacteria gram stain means gram positive sir no 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 one stain you know stains this is the dye uh, stain means it is stained uh, because of this stain it is differentiated in that uh, I, explain. I explain i explain the bacteria are classified into gram positive and gram negative bacteria based on the staining you know stains the plant stains that you are Alice. studying the degree level, intermediate level, most of the, the saffronin and basic fusion, blue, yes, uh, phosphorus. These, uh, these are the some stains. The, these stains use in different purpose. The plant, the plant tissues take in some stains. These bacteria take the some stains. So it is the staining. Based on the staining, the bacteria are divided into two types: gram positive and gram gram negative. Yeah. The staining technique, uh, the staining technique was developed by Christian Graham in 1984. The bacteria are stained with by a type called crystal violet. Bacteria are stained with by a dye called crystal violet. Crystal violet. These dye imports violet purple color. This dye imparts violet purple color. Then the bacteria are transferred to iodine and finally to the ethanol or acetone. Some bacteria retain their purple color. 
after ethanol treatment they are called gram positive bacteria some bacteria lost the purple color and they are called gram gram negative bacteria gram negative bacteria what is the reason of this i explain the bacteria classes generally the the bacteria cell wall consist some of the phospholipids some of the uh, uh some of the phospholipids so this bacteria cell wall only retain the color purple color so it is called as gram positive and some bacteria lost the purple color and they are called it is negative this, these experiments were practical this is the major the practical exam how it is color change how some bacteria lost some bacteria retain the uh, these Uh, next to structure of ultra cell structure of bacteria these are the very very important question your theory exam structure of bacterial cell or structure of ultra structure of bacterial cell is very very important on your theory exam generally all the bacteria are microscopic this structure can be observed only with the help of electron microscope it is a prokaryote this ultra structure generally you have different types of shapes but you observe under microscope in normal microscope but ultra structure of bacterial cell only observed in electron microscope you know electron microscope very very in high density you know yes sir. yes the electron electron microscope only consist of ccmb what is the meaning of ccmb center for cellular biology biology it is in hyderabad near tarnaka yes yes only in the only in the ccmb center so okay in a ccmb open day you go to the ccmb open day only not all the open day. i think number 24th i think november 24th freely you go uh, go to the ccmb you observe the electron microscope you observe the ultra cell structure of back just you observe the shape of microscope but ultra structure these are the ultra structure okay the normal microscope uh, this structure not see, not seen under normal microscope bacterial cell they observe only electron micro electron microscope is most in the, the ctmb only okay so coming to what are the structure of uh, ultra stuff and what uh, Yes, sir, nucleus. Uh, these it's are the nuclear uh, some important some of the some important components of ultra bacterial cell. The first one is slime layer or capsule, and second one is and third one cytoplasmic membrane, and one is protoplasm. protoplasm including cytoplasm reserve food materials nuclear material plasmids and ribosomes and fifth one is flagella the flagella also uh, different types atrichous monotrichous lobotrichous amphitrichous epitrichous one is the sixth one is the pili pili 
coming to first one slime layer what is the slime layer the slime layer is a gelatinous layer the gelatinous layer it is the called the present on the outer surface of the cell wall where it is where it is located in the bacterial cell wall the slime layer are capsules it is gelatinous layer it is present स्लाइम लेयर प्रसेंट ऑन द आउटर सर्फेस दिस लेयर इज कॉल्ड स्लाइम ले it is made up of either polysaccharides or polypeptides or both sometimes both either polysaccharides and polypeptides the both but it is made up of either polysaccharides or polypeptides it may it may be inner thick two way sometimes thick sometimes thin protects what are the function of this slime layer it protects the bacterial cell from desiccation and antibodies desiccation and antibodies for example streptococcus pneumoniae bacillus anthrosis these are the examples these are the function of slime layer you are in this bacterial cell structure is very very important in every living must have a every part is a some of the importance so these are the very very important it is very easy, easy diagram in your exam in the diagram i said after copying my class then i send it i send notes also and your exam time me draw the diagram the table the table and we have the slime layer what is the function of slime layer yes tell me sir your voice is not clear yes yes sir your voice is not clear sir we can't hear okay slime layer it protect back to the uh, slime layer and capsule next one is cell wall uh, all of you just just wait kumar sir uh, call to me just wait hmm mm. सर मैसेज पेटर कदा क्लास सी टू लिंक जॉइन अवाल कुमार सर कुमार okay uh, we will discuss in the bacterial cell wall and uh, nutrition of bacteria and reproduction of bacteria economic important of bacteria and mycoplasma we will we will discuss on next class any doubt please ask me uh, it gives 3 uh, 3 to 4 minutes
okay the uh, ultra cell structure of the nodes we will we will sir we are will okay, okay. Our uh, nodes. sure okay uh, and one thing you are one of one of you take the screenshots of attendance the attendance also very must and should so anyone take the screenshots of attendance please send me uh, my personal whatsapp number okay 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 my number uh, sent to our, our chat box uh, anyone take the screenshots of attendance please send me so sir uh, kumar sir is waiting for uh, class okay thank you one and all any doubts please ask me thank you sir thank you sir thank you thank sir. you thank you sir okay thank you anyone take the attendance please okay sir i have already taken i will send you in a whatsapp number okay okay thank you thank you very much uh, kumar sir kumar sir is waiting so all of you listen here please when you start a class please listen carefully so so many chil children disturbance so many in the road side uh, like uh, buying the vegetable person wise some onion selling person wise so many disturbance are there please maintain a silence please uh, separate you allotted the separate room there is no disturbance because the teachers very uh, very clearly it is uh, your last your time is last so so my side also very disturbance so the class is uh, running very smoothly so because we maintain a silence we maintain a mute any doubt you raise hand just write a message to chat box but otherwise please don't disturbance some so many children disturbance so many uh, so many are uh, listening class or tv i don't know so please maintain carefully all of you you all of you you are you are the all of you most of the percentage is teachers you know you know what happening in so please maintain a 